week I was trying to create a pattern for um, a textured stripe and I was trying to see if I could do something a little different to make um, to make these bumpy ones I don't know bumpier and in that process um, I saw that the back which was actually becoming my front um, very confusing but the point was that I saw this very interesting pattern was being created on this side and that to me it looked very much like Celtic knots and so I decided that this side of the um, square was actually just as nice if not even nicer than what I was trying to do and so I thought it would be great to share it with you guys and I don't know if this stitch exists but um, until someone tells me otherwise I'm calling it the Celtic knot stitch and um, it's a really easy stitch to do and I think it's just beautiful okay although um, the stitch itself is here it's made up of these three stitches in order for that to stand out you need to create these middle this middle stripe of rows and for that um, I found that it was best to use a flat knit stitch or a u-wrap knit stitch also um, for the flat stitch also called a stockinette stitch some people don't like the stockinette stitch because um, it can become uh, the knit the stitch can become too tight and doing this right here is you know it creates a very tight stitch so if you're not comfortable with that and you want that first row um, to be you know those rows to be easy to work with then you can always do a um, U wrap and the U wrap is basically you take the yarn bring it in front of your peg and halfway wrap it and create a U and then take the bottom one over the top and that's a U wrap knit stitch so we're gonna do knit stitch don't do the E wrap which is when you wrap all of your pegs like this don't do that on these rows of knit it doesn't um, allow this pattern here to show up as well so for it to show up really good you need to do a U wrap or a flat knit stitch Our next stitch in this pattern, um, which is your third, is a purl stitch. And the purl stitch is very basic. You're going to put your yarn under your loop, put your hook in that loop, scoop up your working yarn, make a new loop, take the old one off the peg, put the new one on, and pull. That's the purl stitch. And we're going to do one row of the purl stitch our next row which is row number four is going to be um, the rib stitch which is a knit a purl a knit a purl a knit a purl again when we do the knit stitch here we need to make sure that it's either a flat knit or a u wrap and not an e wrap stitch okay and we're gonna do one row of the rip stitch knit purl knit purl knit purl knit purl row number five is your purl stitch and that's one row of purl stitch and then we're going to come back for the last row in this pattern. Row number six is going to be a knit stitch. Again, flat or U wrap. And I would say to you that. Um, 
I made this the last stitch uh, for this pattern right here but don't be shy to add another um, knit stitch in yours because it's going to help for the knots to show up even more so really when you look at this there are three rows of knit the only reason I made that last one um, a knit stitch is because I want to make sure when you end the pattern you end it on a knit stitch right but it's really in between each one of these rows of knots there are three knit stitches right because the last one ended on a knit and then you have the two knit stitches when you start right which gives you a total of three but don't be shy about putting four or even five if you notice that when there's more of the knit stitch the knots show up much more and it's really pretty um, well I hope you like the stitch and you'll use it and uh, feel free to send me some pictures of what you created with it at our Facebook page or you can email me at denise at lumahat.com and, uh, and let me see what you've done with it. I hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let me hear from you in the comment section. Until next time, you guys have a good one.